Hello, welcome back to Cami Designs. And today we are doing the last of the Granny Square purse. And we are just sewing in the liner. And that is it. So, in the last video we sewed the liner. And I have mine already in my purse where I want it. And I'm leaving it like this. I am not turning it inside out. Because I want the inside to be finished like this so once again I am not turning it inside out but I do have it tucked in exactly where it needs to be into each corner and all the way down here into these corners um, you can kind of see it here through there so it's all the way down into the corners now when I sew this liner in here first let me make sure it's all straight and level here now when I sew this liner and I'm only going to sew it along this top because I do want to be able to pull it out inside out and if I can I can wipe off the inside then if I want or not if it gets dirty or anything like that so and you'll see that it's starting to fray a little bit here so when I sew this here, I'm going to kind of fold it like this. And I'm going to stitch it to the side like that. So it is sealed. This side here, this part here, I will stitch regular because I'm going to stitch all along the top here. And I have a larger needle because I am going to be going through yarn. And... I'm using black thread because um, it'll show up on camera a little easier, I think. And I ran out of my other thread. So, I just want to make sure that I'm actually going through this material. Um, so, I'm going to start about here. And I will just, I can feel it push through the material. And because this knot will go into the yarn here so let me pull my first one through see you can't even see that black and so i'm just going to go right over my stitches here and i'm not i don't really care where it pops through my yarn But this is yarn darners. Um, they are sharp points versus a yarn needle. As a softer point, that's for weaving in yarn ends. This has got a very sharp point. Okay. I just want to keep going until I reach this opening. Okay. And now I'm at this opening and I'm going along the front so I'm going to fold it here and if you want to use pins you can and you'll probably be able to hear my my little one behind he's in the living room playing Mario which he is very excited about okay just a second <laughs> I'm gonna pause this okay I am back. So, I just. Okay, I am back. I've pinned a few here. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and pin the rest of these so then I can kind of follow along a little better with my needle. Because I do want to be able to. I, don't, I do want to stitch the fold here. Okay. So. I'm just going to go along here and stitch the fold, but I don't want to stitch it closed. you got to remember to have that open so you're not stitching your bag closed. And so you just want to keep doing this all the way through here. Oops, I missed the bag there. So there we go.
and it's just a simple stitch I'm not doing anything crazy I just want to do this all the way across and then when I get to this here I'll go through both again and then I'll work along the back And I'll have to put more yarn on my needle. And that is fine. Uh, here I want to, you know, I want to keep making sure that I'm going through both. So that's why I'm keeping close to the top here. Okay, and I'm getting pretty close to the end of this yarn here, so I want to be able to tie it off. And I could take these needles out because I'm done with these. Now this is going to be a little difficult to tie off. So I'm going to put my finger here in the loop so I'm not pulling it so tight and then when I come through I'm going to make sure it goes oops, through this loop here so it's essentially tying a knot in it and you can also just tie a knot in it this way and I just will hold my fingernail there so then it will tighten up to my fingernail and then I can cut my thread and I can put new thread on here. And I don't cut very long lengths just because it can mess up my tension and stuff on it. And this is just regular thread. It's not anything special. Um, I like to use just regular sewing thread because then it doesn't show up in the yarn so much. I want to do that differently. I don't like that knot there. So. There we go. And there we go. And then I'll just stitch along this side, this end, and along this side there. And then the purse will be done. And you'll have a purse with a nice pocket on the inside. And that's it. I hope you like this video. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's absolutely free. It just um, lets you know when I have a video out. And if you want to be notified when I have a video out, you can hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. And... If you have any questions or comments um, or want to see something in the, in the next video, feel free to leave it in the comments. I love hearing comments. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!